Welcome, everyone, to our Mobilizing Your Enterprise Databases with Tracer Plus ODBC Link webinar. My name is Joe Crable with PTS, and I'll be running this webinar today. Okay, just to give you a brief description of what ODBC Link does, uh, it's basically a data integration tool that allows you to mobilize your data. Uh, you can take collected data from your mobile handheld device and quickly sync it over to any ODBC compliant database such as Microsoft Access, SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle, uh, and any other ODBC compliant type database driver. Uh, for more detailed information on what ODBC Link does, uh, please visit traceitplus.com. Uh, go to the database integration options and click the learn more about ODBC Link. And you can get more information here. Uh, you know, such as features and benefits and system requirements, as well as the free trial download. Having said that, we're going to go ahead and get started on our demonstration. Uh, first, I'm going to show you I have some data collected on a device here. I'll go ahead and view that data. We collected 30 records of data. And we're going to just do a default sync from the free trial of ODBC link. Um, You'll see that we, have to, we don't have to do any type of configuration. You can just do it synchronize and synchronize right away. So we'll go to our sample database that's included with ODBC Link, uh, sample tracerplus.mdb file. And we'll look at our session one table. You'll see there's no data in there. Now we're going to go to ODBC Link, uh, synchronize, and we're going to do a synchronize all. You'll see a transfer progress window up here that shows the record progress. You can see 30 of 30. We'll hit OK. Let's go back to our sample table and refresh it. And there's our 30 records. So that took place fairly quickly off a default setup. Now I'm going to show you a more advanced configuration with uh, an IT asset management system. What I have here is an IT asset track database. It's in a Microsoft Office 2007 format. And it consists of three different tables. We have an asset list. Uh, this will be all of your existing assets. So you can take your existing systems and go ahead and mobilize them. We have an asset scan table. This is where we're going to collect and scan our assets. And this is basically going to be a transaction history or log of all the asset scans that you do. And we have an asset locations table. This will list all of your current asset locations where an asset may exist in your organization. So we can actually upload this list to a drop-down field within Tracer Plus. That's the database. Now we'll go over and set up a data source. So I'm going to go to my control panel. I go to System and Security, Administrative Tools, and you'll see your data sources ODBC. So we're going to create a system DSN. To do so, we're going to click Add. We're going to look for the Microsoft Access Driver, which is MDB and ACCDB. So that supports both Access 07 and previous versions. We'll hit Finish. Now we're going to go ahead and name our data source. We'll name it IT Asset Track. Then we're going to go ahead and hit Select. Our database exists on a network drive, so we're going to go ahead and select that. As you can see, your database doesn't have to reside on the same PC that ODBC Link is running. Uh, it can run on a network drive or across the network somewhere. I'm going to browse to our folder of Webinar Collateral, and there's our database. Now we're going to hit OK. OK. So now we're going to open up ODBC Link and go ahead and configure our two sessions for syncing. Our first one is going to be Asset Scan. We're going to select our newly configured data source. And once we do that, you'll see a list of available tables within that data source. 
So we're going to go ahead and select our asset scan. Once I do that, you'll see some automatic field mapping take place to the right. Uh, you have your PDA fields and your PC fields. Uh, to the right of that are some controls for manipulating these fields. You can move them up and down. Uh, you can insert fields as well as remove fields. Or you can directly select the field you wish to go to that specified PDA field. As you can see, we have a default sync type. Uh, your options are do nothing, so it'll do nothing when you sync. Uh, sync to and from device, which it will do a sync from the device first and turn around and sync it back to the device. And then you have the one-way syncs of sync to or sync from device. Uh, up here are some syncing options. Uh, if you don't actually want to cr uh, click the synchronize button, you can enable this sync on connect option so that when you cradle the device, the sync will automatically begin. Now we'll go to our update options. Uh, in this case, since this is the asset history or transaction log, we're going to go ahead and keep appending data to this. And since we don't need this information on the device, we're going to go ahead and delete it after transfer. Our transfer options give you the ability to filter what data is transferred to the device. Um, since we are going to be going to and from device, in this session, but we don't want to transfer data, physical data, to the device, we're going to go ahead and apply a static filter that's going to be set to fail so that it only transfers the drop-down list. And this is our drop-down settings area. It's very similar to the actual session configuration. So we're going to go ahead and enable a drop-down for field one. We're going to select our same data source. Uh, this time, the table will be asset locations. The field will be asset location. And you can also sort al alphabetically on asset location. So that drop-down list will be alphabetized. We also give you a filter field option. So if you were using you know, a scenario such as filtering a model down by manufacturer, you can use that field. Uh, let me just set this to and from. We'll go ahead and save that. Now we'll go on to session two, which will be our asset list. Uh, this session, we're going to actually sync our data from our existing table up to the device and use it for reference. So we'll select our IT asset track. And the table will be asset list. Our uh, default mappings take place on the right. The sync type will be to and from, as we're going to want to update the asset list and turn around and send it back to the device. Uh, the update options for this, we're actually going to do an update existing. Uh, what that will do is, based on a given PC field, it will update the record based on that asset tag. So if anything changes within that asset tag record, it's going to update those values for that pertaining record. We're also going to enable the append if not found. Uh, that allows you to during the update process, if it's not found, it'll add the record at the end of the table. And we have no transfer or drop-down options. We'll go ahead and save the settings. 